Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I have a mini album I just finished that I want to share with you guys. I think this one's super cute, and it's a little bit different than um, some of the other ones that I've done. So, I used this paper here, which I got from Tina, so thank you, Tina. I love this paper pad. It's so cute, and it's really fun when all the papers are pretty plain and they coordinate, because um, I can embellish it all the way I want to. And I didn't use a whole lot doing my album this way. Um, those are some of my scraps. But I really like this one. So here is my album. And I don't have all the products I used out. Um, but I did use a bunch of different trims and a bunch of stamps. Um, and a couple different punches and things. So here it is. And it measures 6 inches tall by 4 and a half inches wide. And I used my um, bind it all to do the binding here. So on the front, I just stamped it um, just a little randomness, and then I put a couple of enamel dots down here and some lace, and um, the circle punch and the scallop circle punch were punches. <laughs> um, so then we open it, and over here I used the Lawn Fawn Say Cheese die, and I put this little stamp down here that says Makes Me Smile, and this little crocheted flower with a flat back pearl. So I did another one behind it, just lay, laying back there so it looked like they were kind of together. And then for the recipient, they can put a picture or journal um, or do whatever they want there. So I thought that was cute. And then on this side, um, I have more lace. This was one of the punches I used for the border. And then um, just some laces here. And I used this. This was part of an ephemera pack, and I actually used a couple of these throughout. They matched really well with this paper, um, but I don't remember the name of it. So if you guys want to know that, let me know, and I will grab it. And then I used this little scrap of piece of paper, and I used the There She Goes Journal Lines stamp for this. And I love that stamp because they're lines for journaling, but they're not perfect. As you can see, they're, they look hand-drawn, so I thought that was cool. So I stamped those on there. And then I threw in this tag. I'm not sure if I'm going to add laces to the top or not. Um, but there's that. And then on the next page here, I used another die cut for this. And again, they can put a photo here. I used this little bow here. And I stamped Fabulous up here. And then on this page, I have another pocket with some trim and a flower and a little bit of pearl trim up here. And again, same idea, just a little square with some journal lines, another doily piece, and a tag. So I just thought those were too cute. So there's that. And then on this one, um, I used the postage stamp die, and I put that on there. And then I had this from a sticker sheet, so I backed it on some of the cardstock and just put it on one foam one thickness of foam tape so it's not too thick but it does stand up a little bit and then on the bottom of this page I actually messed up a little bit so I just put a little bit of pink um, on the bottom and I did distress around all the edges with antique linen distress ink and then on this page same thing I just have a pocket with some lace and I stamped this here the best and another flower with a brad and a couple more inserts so this one is pretty simple, but it's kind of fun. It's not too intimidating for a gift um, for someone that, you know, doesn't really know all about mini albums. And on the back, um, I actually messed up on the back a little bit. And I put the glue on the wrong side of the paper, so the back is just plain. And then I put this down here, but some glue got all over the place, so I'm probably going to be redoing the back. I don't know yet. Um, at least covering that up. But that is my mini album. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope it inspired you and I hope you guys have a great night.